it is a letter that I wrote to my friend Gloria, whom I called my Nisi Fool. Now, where did I get that name? It just came out of my heart. <coughs> my dearest Gloria, still I have not been able to grasp the thought of your leaving us. How I miss you. You can be my friend, my mentor, my sister, my confidant. You were always there whenever I needed you, always looking at me and slam. Being with you was great, and I loved every moment we spent together. We became friends 26 years ago. That, Messi Fool, is a long time. You became part of my life. And how can I ever forget you? I admire you so much for all the love you had for your daughters, worrying and not wanting them to suffer in any way. You were a mother holding a lantern, lighting their path so that they would not trip or fall. Remember when you told me you only had two months to live? I said to you, No, Mr. Fool, you can't leave me. That's not fair. We're supposed to go together. I will always cherish that private moment we had. Three weeks later, June 22nd, I called and Lila said that you were not doing well and that it was a matter of time. I rushed to your bedside. And what did I see? My beautiful Missy Fool, ready for her journey of no return. Then I started to sing to you the song you love so much. <clears throat> or my sunshine, my only sunshine, you make me happy. When the skies are blue, you never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. I kissed your forehead, and holding your hand, I said that it was okay to go, because Joe was waiting for you. That I will always have you in my thoughts, my heart, and soul. I thank the Lord for giving me the joy and opportunity to be with you till your last breath, and to have been able to close your beautiful blue eyes. That was an unforgettable moment, which will stay for me till the day I live this world. See you again, my dearest Missy Fool. I love you so much, Glory. Thank you. Thank you.